Have you heard of the latest work-related trend on social media called quiet quitting? The term is somewhat misleading because quiet quitting doesn't have anything to do with actually quitting your job. This video is going to talk about what quiet quitting is all about and whether an employee can actually bring a claim against their employer for quiet quitting. Hi, I'm Sindel, the managing attorney here at Knoll Law Group. Our firm has been around for over 30 years, and we represent individuals who have fallen victim to unsafe work conditions or unlawful work conditions and are owed compensation from their employer. So quiet quitting doesn't refer to actually quitting your job, but it refers to the notion of quitting going above and beyond for your employer. This means that employees are really just doing the tasks that are assigned to them, their job duties, and nothing more. The reason behind quiet quitting is that employees are feeling less inclined to do more than what is expected of them in the workplace. And that's because, frankly, they're exhausted. They're feeling burnt out, underappreciated, overworked, and underpaid. Employees are saying no to coming in early or staying late. They're saying no to taking on the burdens of other employees' tasks at work, and they're saying no to overtime. Employees are really just saying that they are hashtag acting my wage, which is another trending term on social media. Now, it's so important for employees to have a healthy work-life balance and to create boundaries between themselves and their employers but it's also important for an employee to understand that there could be negative consequences with quiet quitting. If you are saying no to additional work, then you're potentially saying no to raises, promotions, or other growth within the company. You are also creating an opportunity for other employees to work hard, excel, and even surpass you in your career. It's also important for you to understand that employers can still terminate you if they feel that your work performance is not satisfactory. Now, a big question is, can an employee bring a claim against an employer because they're feeling underappreciated? The answer is no. But a lot of times, employees who are feeling underappreciated or overworked or burnt out feel that way because they are experiencing unlawful work conditions. So if an employer is ignoring your complaints of harassment or unsafe work conditions, or if they are encouraging you to skip your meal breaks and rest breaks and aren't paying you for the hours worked, then an employee might have a claim against their employer. Now, quiet quitting is not a new phenomenon, but in these very uncertain economic times, employees are really just trying to find a way to cope with the disappointments that they're feeling in the workplace. And it's understandable. If you found that this video has been informative and helpful, then follow and subscribe. And if you have questions about maybe a claim that you want to bring against your employer, then give us a call for a free legal consultation.